Hello and welcome to Pro Lab Studio. My name is Michael Gallion, and we have another episode of our podcast series. And today we're going to talk about a secret weapon on selling bird control. And it's all about starting off on the right foot. And what I mean by that, it has everything to do with a proper evaluation of the site to really look closely at the bird problem. Um, you know, we get all kinds of photos from project sites all over the world, and uh, there are so many bird problems of different levels of complexity, as you can imagine. Uh, but what is consistent about the best companies that are the most profitable in terms of, of bird control and selling those services is they will look deeply into the problem in order to, to really figure out what the root problem is, <clears throat> where the most problematic high pressure areas are, and look backwards from that point to the history and really study the, the components of the infestation or this resident bird population that has grown to a, uh, become such a problem. Now for facility managers who don't do this as uh, you know, a service they offer, but they just solve their own problems, they in general will have a much better understanding because they, they do a lot more than just walk through the facility at ground level. Oftentimes they do get up high and uh, they, when, when a problem starts, they're able to get up and look at other areas of the facility. They have access, they usually have lifts and ladders, but they're also very familiar top to bottom with the facility itself, which gives them a huge advantage. But when it comes to pest control operators or uh, let's say window cleaning companies that only do the outside of the building or uh, with other service providers that don't go up high necessarily to do their work, they don't understand this part of really making money off of uh, bird control in a way that brings great value to the, to the end customer. So many jobs are looked at from a distance with only uh, basic information about the problem. And it's really important that you get to learn more about that facility and the problems that are going on with the birds, how they originated. Now, you have to do one thing, and that is you have to get high, <laughs> okay? <laughs> now, I'm not telling you to go out and get high in the way that you're thinking, but the, the difference between successful bird professionals is they get up high off the ground and there's a reason why it, there is a saying called bird's eye view. We really need to look at what is going on with the structure from the viewpoint of the bird looking down at the problem as they land onto those structures, what is drawing them in. And this is a problem for a lot of pest professionals. They don't want to uh, have to get up on a ladder unless it's absolutely necessary. And in many cases, the people doing the inspection aren't going to necessarily be the ones to do the actual solution. They're not going to install deterrents or get up there and clean out all of the bird dropping matter, the nesting and that sort of thing. They're just going to come in, inspect from the ground level, taking photos upward, and then do a basic overview of the problem and more or less guess based on previous jobs, what is probably going on up above. That's not good enough. That's just not going to cut it. If you want to make a big difference in terms of your solution, you, you have to go on a ladder or get up high. Now, we do have something else possible, and that's what I have sitting in front of me here. Now, a lot of you are just tuning in into the audio on this, and I don't recommend you try to look at what I'm going to show you here unless you're safe and you've pulled over or you're viewing this from home. But we have a solution that we've come up with that really needs to be looked at, especially from sales professionals who aren't certified to go up on ladders or anyone who doesn't have the insurance to go up high and look. But 
This device I have in front of me, we call the Safety View Inspection Pole. Now, it's nothing more than hardware that's been added to our regular poles. Our regular poles are really uh, quite a bit different. You notice there's no plastic collar here. And in order to separate and open up these, uh, these poles, uh, this isn't going to get broken. With a plastic collar is where you loosen those. Instead, this is a friction device that can be opened up in several stages. It gets all the way up to 18 feet high. But the real secret weapon here is this hardware that we make available so that you can actually attach your phone into this device in a way that's not going to jeopardize your phone. Your phone is an incredibly important tool. But once we get this mounted on this device, then what you're able to do is get that pole up high looking down for you without going on a ladder. Now, it sounds simple and, you know, it, it, is, a, it is a simple solution, but trust me on this, you don't want to use cheap uh, hardware because your phone is usually six, seven hundred dollars and you want to make sure it's really secure. So I studied the market, I looked at a lot of different devices, and not only is this a good solid piece of hardware, but there's the added feature we see on it that you can uh, tilt the camera at a downward angle as well. So this adjustment here allows you to pivot and get really steep angles looking downward at the problem area. And as you can see, here are some shots of what that looks like the, the inspector is standing on the ground and now, without getting up on a ladder, we're able to really see these areas. Now, this is not the complete solution. Of course, we gotta go up to many areas, but this can make a huge difference. To start the camera recording on video, then up it goes, let the video run, and then when we bring it down, uh, we take a look at it and usually look at it in slow motion and look at individual frames to, to take uh, uh, still shots right from the video itself. Once we have a good understanding of what's going on at the bird's eye view, we now have a much better chance of solving the problem properly. But most importantly, not just solving it properly, properly to the customer is the lowest cost solution. You have to really figure out if I were able to remove the nesting in this particular structure and focus my efforts just on nesting, is that enough of a solution that's going to solve the problem? Sometimes we get up there, we see multiple areas, and we still deduce that after we've seen how much is going on, then we're just going to net off the whole structure. And at that point, it's not critical to get a whole lot more pictures at that point. We just want to look at the connecting points around the perimeter of where a, a, you know, a stealth net system would go. Don't overlook the quality of your inspection when it comes to birds. If you can't get to certain areas, drones are being used more and more. Uh, use this uh, safety view inspection pole to get your phone up higher. Look at satellite images. And look at satellite images when you're at the site to see what's on the other side of the wall, to look at other areas from 3D angles. All of this is really important. So make sure you do proper inspections to start off on the right foot so you have the best chance of really solving the problem. Hopefully this is helpful to you. This will help you sell more bird work and close your deals and, and do a, a much better thorough job of solving the problem. That's it for now. Uh, again, my name is Michael Gallion. I do business development. If you have any other ideas for additional podcasts that you want to have us cover, let us know. Put it in the comments below and we'll see you at the next podcast. <music>